Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. I'm going to be shuffling out some oracle cards and putting a little spread out with tarot and then clarifying and really getting deep into it and seeing um, what's going on. Okay. I like to try different spreads just to see like what messages are coming out, you know. Okay, what's going on for Aquarius? Okay. <laughs> Lots of messages. Aquarius, are you being quiet right now? Okay. I'm getting several different energies with this. <clears throat> I'm also seeing you might be recovering from something and this is something that you could be hiding. I'm also seeing that you could be hiding some sort of meeting. Okay. Usually the bottom of the deck signifies things that we, you know, keep hidden or things that you don't see coming. Um, so I see you might have a secret crush on someone you feel drawn to this person. You might miss seeing them. Someone might be in love. Maybe this is your person or you. You feel let down by another energy. I'm not quite sh I am not seeing I'm not seeing that it's the same energy. You don't share the same values. I feel like this is the other person here. I'm getting definitely two energies. There's some sort of sexual tension. I believe this is with your secret crush here. And I am not over you. I'm actually feeling like this is the a past energy that is basically trying to come back in. And the reason I'm thinking that is because they're showing in your reading, which means their energy is still around you for some reason, okay? There is forward movement though, okay? <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups. I'm definitely getting this is the past energy here. Usually the past will come out first. I'm gonna do about six cards. Okay. You could be feeling a little stuck right now. You could have you could be feeling impatient with the three of wands. Five of swords in reverse. Getting uh, internal struggles of sorts. Perhaps a recovery of some of something, of like some sort of addiction. Yep, I'm getting a past life soul connection here with the Six of Cups. Also getting family, equal give and take. Um, what else? Reciprocity. Page of Cups in reverse. Okay. You could be dealing with a Pisces or someone with Pisces in their chart. I feel like this is the person that is coming back in to your energy here. And you're not really wanting them back. Yeah, and this person is being a bit deceptive. Okay. Or maybe this is you. <laughs> You know what, I'm almost getting this is you, like hiding your, I, this could be, okay, okay, that makes sense actually. I feel like Aquarius, you are actually hiding someone from someone else. Um, or this is you sneaking away from someone, like you may be not speaking to someone that is trying to come back in your energy. These are still very new and these foil cards are very, very slippery, so I apologize. Um, Aquarius, I just wanna uh, give you a heads up, I do see a tower moment coming. Something shocking is about to happen and there you are in your own reading, King of Swords. This is how you know it's for Aqua. 
<laughs> you know who I'm about to shuffle right now is the um, the Emperor and the King of Swords. I'm feeling there's a little bit of a battle between you and, I don't know, maybe an Aries of some sort. Someone with Aries in their chart. Someone who abuses, or maybe this person is just a regular father figure, so maybe it's just your own father. Okay. Well, let's find out what the um, Four of Cups is. Okay. What's the Four of Cups for Aqua? Something wants to come out. <laughs> there we go. All right, there it is in reverse. Uh, the Emperor in reverse. I knew, I had a feeling it was going to come out in reverse. There is someone here who is abusing their power of authority, or they are trying to kind of defeat you in some sort of way. With the Two of Swords in reverse, um, hmm. I'm getting this is actually someone in feminine energy, okay? I get that she might be trying to manipulate you into coming back towards her. Mm -hmm. I'm getting dark hair. And something about water. Like some sort of memory of water. <clears throat> what else? Who is this person? What do they want? They want to distract you. I'm seeing them. I'm seeing them come across as an energy of a challenge of the Seven of Pentacles. They are trying to distract you from some sort of growth or opportunity. They're trying to interrupt progress for you. Okay. I'm also seeing the, um, so the two energies I'm seeing, one of them is showing up of, as the Emperor in reverse with the Two of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This person is very emotionally unstable. Okay. They're coming across as the Empress in reverse. They are desperately trying to get you back and will use any and all, or all means in order to do it. Um... I see why you're being quiet about something. I see why you're protecting someone, okay? Because this person is definitely coming back as like, well, this person is coming in as, as if they will. Okay, Aqua, I also want to tell you that it was extremely hard for me to sit down and do this reading today. I kept wanting to do it. I kept coming down to do it and getting interrupted. <laughs> I want to say like 10 times. So someone does not want you to hear this message. Um, I really, I'm getting a very dark energy with this person with the two of swords in reverse coming across as the empress in reverse and the emperor in reverse. It could also be that this person puts you in an unstable state. Okay. I'm not sure if they use or abuse sex as a means of getting across to you. This person could be very beautiful or perhaps, or perhaps they just know how to give the illusion of beauty. So that could be with lots of makeup, um, you know, beauty magic or using, you know, things like, and there's nothing wrong with this, but there is something wrong with it when you're not also a good person and you use it to trap people, um, you know, just going and getting things done. I'll just say it this way. Um, cause like I said, I have nothing, I don't, you know, you do what you want, <laughs> but the moment you start being a bad person and manipulating other people, that's not good. Okay. All right. So this person is definitely in a dark energy and I get they, they really mess with your head. 
Okay. All right. And I, I, I am totally understanding why you are refusing their offer. I actually see you refusing their offer. I see you maybe not even speaking to them. You could just be like, um, totally avoiding them. I'm getting something about pearls. Perhaps this person likes pearls, um, or wearing white. Okay. What else? Judgment, three of wands in reverse. A decision was made, okay, at some point. You were sick of feeling stuck. Okay, what else? What's the judgment? of wands or reverse you are canceling whatever it is with this person there's you're there's no going back to this no going back to this this could be um some sort of cancellation of celebration it could be a cancellation of marriage it could be a cancellation of commitment okay what else I'm going to take all these. All right. So the cards fell over here on the seven of swords. So this is where they're going to stay. Um, it's basically an entire story. For some reason, my cards love to do that to me. They like to sometimes reveal a lot of like all of one thing at the same time. And that's totally fine. So here we have the three of pentacles. Okay. With the seven of swords. Um, I'm getting some sort of malicious gossip. I'm getting you have a lot of people around you that maybe have opinions about how you run your life. Okay. These people could be family or close friends. I'm getting people that are very close to you. I'm also getting like parental figures or maybe like sisters. Maybe this is this person's sisters and brothers or something and you're feeling you're feeling like you have to watch your back. They could be very you could see them like everywhere, like around town. Maybe they've even seen you before with someone. Okay. I also have here the Queen of Pentacles. There is someone in your energy who you find to be stable, beautiful, and worth committing to. This person, they are concerned about you. They are also trying to protect you. I get they even know what's going on, okay? And like you might be like, how do they know because you haven't said a word to them? This person is concerned for you, okay? Oh, okay, and um, okay, so we also have the Queen of Cups. Okay. So here we have another energy as well. Okay. There's a lot, <laughs> there is a lot here. Okay. Um, we also have the two of cups. This person, okay, this person as well, I feel like is, Well, the Queen of Cups is usually a married woman. Okay, so this could be someone that you have a high commitment to. Maybe there's two. I don't know. There is a lot of people here, Aquarius. <laughs> like, what do you have going on? <laughs> um, I'm getting this person might have like two or more children. Okay, and there's the two of cups here, so there is there is positive positive stuff going on. I'm seeing Leo. I'm also seeing Pisces, Virgo. 
Okay. And then we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Now it makes sense. The Queen of Pentacles is worried. They're worried for you. However, this person is probably someone you were in a commitment with or you are in a commitment with, but you want to let them go. You may be divorcing them. You could be leaving them. Or maybe you're just disinterested in them at this time. I'm seeing the Queen of Cups, where your Two of Cups is. This Queen of Cups is beautiful. Or this is you, Aquarius. She is a very positive individual. I'm getting a very playful energy. And she watches you. She waits. Okay. And then we also have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're sick of juggling two different situations here. I feel like your heart is pulling you in a certain direction. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. The way I placed these down with the Two of Pentacles in reverse, the man is like basically looking in this direction. So I get that he is like almost staring over here with the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Like that is where your mind is. You may be over here as well, but your mind is over here with the Queen of Cups. The Eight of Swords reverse. I'm getting this as an energy of needing to release yourself, of liberating yourself. This could be something that happens in the future. Perhaps you completely let go of any past energies and then move forward. I don't know why we just skipped completely to the end. Maybe I don't need the rest of the cards. All right, we're going to try and go to the, um, since that seems done, we're going to go to the Five of Swords reverse. What is this? What is this? So we have the Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a very sexual energy here. And with the Five of Swords in reverse, like I said, this could be some sort of addiction or perhaps just like lots of promiscuous sex or just sex with lots of people. This could be something you are deciding to walk away from for a little bit. I'm not sure. What's the Knight of Wands with the Five of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the Magician, you're pulling back your energy from this. The Magician in reverse, the Fool in reverse. Yeah, I feel like you're deciding no longer to take these risks. You are trying to manifest something else, like a new direction. I feel like you are struggling with it a little bit. I feel like you are very tempted right now. And that happens, you know, that's, um, that's completely normal to do, but you are, and you are feeling, I feel like you're feeling a little lonely right now in the three of cups in reverse. You're lacking any sort of entertainment. You could be very bored. Okay. Um, and it's, it's becoming more and more difficult for you. But I feel like you're starting to realize the boredom isn't because you're not having sex. It's because you're in some sort of other energy that is no longer benefiting you. You're realizing where your happiness lies. You're realizing where your disinterest lies. You're realizing that you are stuck. And that no matter how much sex you have or however you distract yourself, you realize that it's not going to change until you make a difference yourself. Anything else? Oh, I literally just threw cards in my face. Hold on, we're going to see what cards I like threw in my face. That was really funny, guys. <laughs> oh my god, that was really funny. <laughs> I'm taking them. I am taking them. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're sick of being... I feel like you're sick of being isolated. I feel like you're sick of fighting. I feel like you're just, like, done with it. 
Page of Wands. Yep, you're you're ready for a new adventure. I feel like you're done. You're done. Yep, the devil. I wanted to look at this card because I've not seen it in this deck yet. So I'm getting this devil here as a past soulmate connection. I'm sorry guys, I've been interrupted like 20 million times during this reading. Um so if someone doesn't want me to say this, that's all I that's all I know. <laughs> we just as I get to like the interesting part, someone will come at me. <laughs> so if you're seeing little blips in the screen, that's why. Um yeah, so the tower did come out. It came over here on this first section. Um I'm really feeling like you have a tower coming at you very fast. I'm also feeling that this might be something maybe that already happened, okay? Um, some sort of shocking revelation about this person that is making you change the traje trajectory of where you're going, which is a high priestess. Oh my goodness. Whoever this person is that you're into is very, very good for you. Um... Like I said, they're they're coming in as like a soulmate, the high priestess, which was on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Yeah, and the knight of pentacles too. All right, so with the devil energy, I just want to get like one more card. What is this devil energy? The chariot in reverse. Devil energy, chariot in reverse. Yeah. Okay. So. You guys could be in separation right now or perhaps just like very far away. I'm getting like two different kingdoms or something. Because that's I'm just seeing the castles in this card here. I'm also getting to Aquarius that you need to work on your heart chakra at this time. Um, you know, really work on opening up yourself. Just um you ever go to say someone say uh, excuse me say something to someone and you stop yourself and like change what it is that you're saying just in case you come across two one way right? That's something where it takes strength to do, but once you start doing it, you will feel so much more free and able to move forward. And I'm getting that's why also the chariot is in reverse. is because there is something stopping you from... And with the devil energy, this is something that you do actually need to work on. Like, the universe is telling you right now, it's time. Because you need to be your um, true, genuine self with this person. What's the um, six of cups? What's the six of cups? The Hermit in Reverse, the Moon, okay, yeah, you feel very isolated right now, you are missing about this person, you could be even dreaming about this person, I get you feel so... I almost feel like you feel like your life has completely changed. That you no longer see things the same way. You are almost beside yourself. You almost feel like you're living someone else's life. You feel like where you are now currently is not reality. There are certain things that you are obviously attached to, but I'm getting like... You no longer see things the same way you used to see them. Almost like your view of the world has been completely distorted up until now. Interrupted again. Yay. Okay. So anyway, um, I feel like wherever you are now in your head is completely just... Uh, it's almost like you've upgraded or you've... Oh, what is the word I'm thinking of? Like when you become enlightened, but like... Ugh. You've like ascended, there we go, mentally. It's almost like you've leveled up. Your brain has like 
went up a notch. You know what I mean? This may have also been like quite a painful process for you. You may have thought you might have been having an anxiety attack. You may have thought you might have been having a panic attack or a midlife crisis. Um, it kind of feels like that. Okay. What else is the Six of Cups moon energy with the Hermit in reverse? Yeah. You miss this person so much. You want to see them. The lovers, you are like completely... I see you worried. You are worried about the future. This person though, like they... They have very high hopes for the situation. However, I feel like you are like completely unsure of what to do. But it's because you're trying to control things and I feel like this person is more inclined to just kind of like live and let live. And I believe that that is something that you're going to need to try and do. The heart chakra, root chakra healing will also help loads. Okay, um, and I'm just getting a lot of meditation, like you should be meditating right now, because you're just, the need to control is going to come, make you come across less genuine, okay? So, I think it's best you work on that. The justice in reverse here. You could be Libra or have Libra, Libra in your chart. There's some sort of imbalance. You feel as if you made the wrong decision at some point. And you feel like an injustice was done. Perhaps this is why. Okay, perhaps this is what the Five of Cups is about. Maybe that was, you made a decision at one point and it was not the right decision. And I almost feel like you feel guilty or like really upset about it. I feel like, you know, if that's the case, or if this is your person and you, I'm not sure. Please flip and switch the roles as needed. Um, whoever made this injustice, I really feel like the only way to get over it is to, you know, just talk about it. Say whatever you need to say. You know what I mean? If this person likes you like you like them and it seems like they do, then it's best you just kind of get it out of your mind and into the nether realm of conversation. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, the Page of Cups Rivers, I do get this as some past energy coming back towards you, so let's figure this out. They're going to be rejected, though, which is really funny. <laughs> Six of Swords, Three of Swords in reverse, so... That's Nine of Swords. Mm -hmm. This person is stuck, and they're coming back towards you because they are feeling heartbroken and they need you to help them fix that. However, like I said, this person is just manipulating you. Let's see what else do I want. What are, gonna, what are they going to do? Sorry guys, I'm really tired today and I just got interrupted like 20 times and I'm like just like done. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, like I said, this person is a very dark energy. They want, they are manipulating you. I almost feel like they're doing it in a way so that they can feel like they've won. Um, you may have left them or kept them quiet. Or like, and what I mean by that is like, you may have... You may have ghosted them, okay? And this person is like, they're stuck. They're so unhappy right now. <laughs> I 
I love when Aqua comes out in their own reading. I love it. There you are, Aqua. <laughs> the star. You're the creator, the uh, innovator. You are hope, new beginnings, good omen. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The number eight could be important to you. Maybe you're seeing 88 or something. You could be the type of person who really feels like drawn to water. You could maybe like, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting like a coast vibe. Like maybe you like being near the coast. Like you, you do not like being landlocked. That's for sure. You do not. Okay. And so we also have the seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, illusions. This person is trying to, they're going to try so hard to cast an illusion. I, I almost feel like they're even going to try and pretend they're like this other person in order to get to you. So watch out for anything that like you may think looks familiar to you. It's almost like a doppelganger vibe. Like they may, like I'm getting like they may even like completely try and like copy your person that you're into like to a T like like say they took a picture of themselves doing something this person is literally going to do like the exact same thing <laughs> so, and I, I get like when you see it you're going to be like um wait a minute and you're just going to think about your other person and you're going to be like what <laughs> what is this yeah, and this is the Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Pentacles. This person may even be watching Tarot or Tarot um, to come up with ideas and ways to come at you. This person wants to keep you stuck, though. They do not have good intentions. Um, I'm getting they are obsessed. I'm getting they watch you constantly, okay? Like, I'm talking, like, checking your page, like... Like, whatever it is, you know, Instagram, Facebook, they're, like, literally watching it all day long. <laughs> like, they have no other life. <laughs> oh, man. But, you know, you know what's funny about this is, like, change is coming. It, it is coming in a little rocky, though, I'm not going to lie. Okay, Aquarius, um, let's just get uh, one. I want to get some more messages here. Uh, just before we hop off, just to clarify the situation. Okay, these flipped over. I'm going to take them. You're so smart. Your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart and I really enjoy our conversations. You and your person could have very interesting conversations. And I feel like you think they're very, very intelligent. <clears throat> and they may think the same about you. you need time to heal. Yeah, I get you are definitely dealing with a healing period and you could currently be going through that right now, which is why this energy right here is coming off like that, okay? And that could also be your five of cups, and, or sorry, four of cups energy here at first. Um, and I get that you, you know, whatever is happening down here, maybe it's in seven months or so um, or something, Whatever is happening here at the end is like your two of cups. It's your wish fulfillment. It's everything. So you're going to get through it. Whatever you're feeling right now, whatever awkward. Um, like I was saying, sometimes when you're uh, ascending, I know it sounds crazy, but you're, it's almost like your brain will, um, it almost feels kind of like a panic attack, right? Because you're just sitting there and you're like, why do I randomly feel very strange? You know what I mean? And you're not even stressed out. You're not even, you know, anything. Um, and obviously, if, you, if it is actually a panic attack, you know, do whatever you need to do. But I'm getting that you're, you're feeling very different and you're not sure how to handle it. You could even be like seeing things when you close your eyes, okay? Images, lights, um... It's because you're you're basically being upgraded um, spiritually. 
It's like your third eye is opening and like that can be painful. I sound crazy, but whatever, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, it's simple really. You guys just like each other. I mean, it's just, it is simple, isn't it? And that's one thing you have to think about. I feel like if you are trying to sit there and control a situation, you're going to have a very difficult time because really when it comes to love and things like that, there's nothing to be logical about. It's all heart chakra, right? Okay. The, the situation may be complicated, but you will make it more complicated by holding yourself back and not being genuine. And it is time to let the past go. Okay. What else? Showing out. No more showing out, okay? And also, you want to run away with your person to a desert island, apparently. <laughs> okay, Aquarius, um, this was a really beautiful reading. It does seem a little stressful, but you guys are going to be fine. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.